Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in Radical Heights by about 15 to 30 FPS depending on what sort of PC you're working with. So the first thing you can do is when you're in game is go into the console by using the tilde key and pasting in these two commands. You're going to have R dot shadow quality equals zero, which is going to disable shadows. And then you're going to have R dot bloom quality equals zero. That's going to disable bloom. So you want to obviously type these in individually, not both at the same time. So you can have those two. This should right off the bat increase your FPS by like 15. So most systems should be able to sustainably work with 60 to 70 FPS. Now, this what this is also going to do is give you a game like a much cleaner washed out look which can help with visibility and this is how your game will look in this clip so as you can see in these clips that the color is more washed out it's very light not much contrasts and there's just not more visibility but if you are someone who prefers the game to look much closer to its vanilla state i have some things you can do with your config which will uh, still give you a bunch more fps Go to your update folder. You can find this by doing percent update uh, percent in your search bar, or you can do Windows R update. You want to go local, radical heights, saved, config, Windows client, and then you want to edit something called engine. And you want this in here. I'm going to put everything you, you need to copy paste in the description. So you're going to add this. This is going to make it so the bloom disable is fixed. So you don't have to mess with the config every time. Then you're also going to go to scalability and input this. This is going to make sure the shadows are also disabled all the time. Now, if you want your game to look like normal, so you still have the things like ambient occlusion and the proper contrast in the game. You can add all of these settings, these graphical settings to the game, which should not affect FPS at all. So you'll still have the same amount of FPS with both configs, except they're just gonna look different. So there's also some launch options that you can do to possibly increase performance. And uh, I'll link all of these in the description. And if you don't know how to get to your launch options, you go to your game, properties, set launch options. And uh, yeah, all these will be in the description. And the last thing you can do if you have the green flickering bulb, go to your NVIDIA control panel, adjust desktop color settings, and make sure you have use NVIDIA settings ticked. And this will fix it so you don't have to run borderless. And that should be it. That should be everything you need to know that could possibly help you with performance on radical heights. if this video helped you please leave a like and subscribe cheers